<laughs> I was thinking about that the other day. I was actually talking to Edu about that uh, at lunch. And uh, yeah, I would have done it. So that was Capello? Yeah. And he, I, he contacted you? And yeah, and, you and, and, I, and I would have done it. Yeah, I felt very proud about it. And uh, I was very realistic looking at the place that Spain had at the time, how little <laughs> chances I had. So uh, you need to know your level. That's very important. Look in the mirror. And, uh, and at the end, it didn't happen. Um, and it was good, at least to think about it. Yeah. Were you sort of disappointed, upset? Did you try and fight that ruling in any way? Sorry, sorry? When it couldn't happen. Yeah. No, but it's okay. You cannot do it. You cannot do it. That's it. That's fine. And it wasn't sort of a, a big ambition as not to be totally devastated. No, I wasn't going to prepared to fight against the world in that moment. <laughs> <laughs> Jordan? Hi, Mikhail. Um, um, four of the first six games of the season were away from home. Uh, the next ten games, you have seven away games. How much mental work do you do with the team, with the club, to ensure that these days um, do not affect you? Yeah, we discuss and we put things in place to, especially to to make the players feel fresh, you know, because there's a lot of traveling, there's a lot of requirements, a lot of routines and habits that become a bit uh, different. But uh, yeah, they just been ten days away from home, most of them as well, you know, in hotels and playing international football. So they're quite used to it. Uh, the thing is, when you glide those two things together, and then the the days becomes. Uh, a big proportion of, of sets and periods and become more challenging. But so far, we are still very early in the season. The team is, is fresh. What do you do to keep them fresh? Well, try to make those uh, periods as short <coughs> as possible, as efficient as possible, obviously respecting the priority always that is, is performance, that is preparation, and that is rest and recovery. So if we have to bring them back uh, straight away after the match is perfect. If the best thing is to stay in the hotels and try the following day to have better sleep, uh, better food, uh, better time to recover and prepare the next match, they have to understand. And then we always do sets and activities within the squad to keep it fresh, to keep it a bit of a surprise and, and a bit of a, something a little bit out of the norms, basically. Any examples of what you're doing? No. <laughs> Not the moment. And just finally, um, and you've done a lot of work to kind of make away days feel like home, you know, with Clint Stones in the dressing room and try and make it feel really feel like home. There was a period when Arsenal were really, really struggled away from home, but that isn't the case anymore. Do you feel like you can now go on away days so you don't fear it or dread it as much as maybe you used to? Well, we, we try to prepare the best possible way, and obviously uh, the results that uh, we had in the last two seasons, especially away from home, it's, it's reassuring. It brings confidence, it brings trust to the to the team that we are capable of competing in in any scenario and uh, and that's in my opinion very very important for ourselves and as well for the opponent because they can see that uh, that we are ready to to face to face okay yes, sir. Hi, Hi. over the summer there's quite a bit of excitement so around Gabriel Jesus and the return of him obviously being fully fit and um, the rest of the <coughs> Well, as I said, uh, he came on in a, in a great shape, probably better than in the best condition he's been uh, with us. He was flying in pre-season and unfortunately he got that injury straight away. That affected him for a few weeks. He put again a lot of work into it uh, to come back and now he needs to get the rhythm. You know, he's playing a few games. He started two games already against Atalanta and Bolton. He's come on uh, and against uh, Southampton, sorry. Uh, so, yeah. Is there now? He needs to earn the right to play to play more. He's got our full support. He's a player that can play in various positions, and he's a really important player for us. In terms of English managers uh, in this country, looking at the pathway, is there anything more that this country needs to do in terms of producing English, English managers, or do you think it's just a matter of time uh, for more countries? I don't know. I think. Uh, I don't really know the system that well to give a, a clear opinion, but I can tell you that the, the level of English managers is really high, um, and uh, and the education of of the players, especially when they come into the academy, is extremely high. So that means that there is there is quality there. Is do they have the enough the enough opportunities as well? That's a question that uh, probably is not for me to answer. Gary. Hi. Be 
is perhaps slightly advantageous for you when it comes to the loan for some of your players who go off to the Indian Cup, the fact he knows what it's like to be in your shoes, and therefore maybe you, you get a little bit more slack. And perhaps it will give you better fit for, for Kyo at detriment at certain points. Well, I think they are. All the managers understand the demands that we have at the club level. But the reality as well is that they have the responsibility to the best for the country and, and to fulfill the duties that they have in the role, which is to win all of the games. <laughs> and, uh, and with those demands, you have to make the best decision that you, you think for the day. And it's very difficult, and I understand that, for anybody to look, OK, one month ahead, three months ahead, or looking at the previous history. Ed? No, I don't know exactly where we are on, on that today. At the moment, he's here with us. We are extremely happy to have him. And OK, what happens in the future, we can discuss it after. And just generally on your, on your players, the next international break, obviously, you've got a lot of injury issues at the moment. There's a few players that sat out this international break. Do you expect more of a, uh, to do the same for the next international break, which comes in a really, really busy time? My wish would be that everybody is fit and available and they can go with the national teams and we don't have to adjust any of that. So let's see where we are in, in November. OK, last quick couple. Thanks. Mike. You know, should we Thanks. be surprised that there are more Spanish coaches in the Premier League than English coaches when there are 2,000 Spanish coaches with the pro licence badge and only 200 English? And if you want, if I were to go and get my UA for pro licence tomorrow, good luck to your team. Um, um, <laughs> it would cost me £13,000, where I think in Spain it's something like €2,000. Should we be surprised that there's that imbalance in Spanish-English coaches in the Premier League? Again, very difficult for me to give you a, a proper answer because I don't know all the data and all the, the, the factors that are contributing for probably that imbalance in the numbers that, that you are describing. OK, finally, John. Um, you mentioned that the England players were smiling when I heard that Thomas Tuchel. Does that include Raheem, who's out of the team? I don't know if Raheem was in there. <laughs> what, what about Ben White? Did he have a specific question? <laughs> <laughs> so so he doesn't ask me about Bukayo or Declan. You go to... <laughs> you, we just assume that those two were happy then. <laughs> yeah? OK. Well, I assume that Thomas Tuchel would be happy with those two. <laughs> And with Russ, I think he will be very happy and probably very happy to have Ben as well. So. Is it important to get Raheem back in the England side? Well, if that's his desire and what he wants, for sure. And, and he's in a, in a really good moment right now. I was watching the last few training sessions and he was exceptional. And uh, Raheem at his best, you know, can compete with any player in, in this league for sure. Okay, that's us. Yeah, Thanks, thank, you. thank you.